Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about Mary, the mother of Jesus, and this time we'll look at the term Theotokos, and what it means in its history. To start with, Theotokos is an adjective. It's a compound word, meaning literally, whose offspring is God. Various translations interpret this word to also mean mother of God and God-bearer. While we discussed Mary's title as Mother of God earlier in this season, one thing we didn't talk about was the theological controversy that surrounded it. While it was normal to call Mary the Mother of Jesus, some people objected to calling her Mother of God. It seemed to suggest that God's origin was in Mary, making her some kind of mother goddess. This was the objection brought up by Nestorius, after whom the Nestorian heresy is named. Nestorius recognized that there were many problems with this, so he proposed the view that Mary only gave birth to the human nature of Jesus, and that as we discussed back in episode 355, that's what Nestorianism is. However, both of these views were false. Eventually, the Catholic Church stepped in to clarify the situation, that Mother of God doesn't mean that Mary is the source of God, but she also didn't give birth to a nature, she gave birth to a person. In short, Jesus' divine and human natures were united as one person, even as far back as the time when Mary was pregnant with him. This is also a good reason to think that personhood begins long before birth, but that's a separate issue. In 381 AD, the correct view of this issue was clarified in the Nicene-Constantinopolitan Creed, which said, One Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost, and of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. This also sheds light on the title, God-bearer. An exclusively spiritual being can't be born, but Jesus was not an exclusively spiritual being, because he was fully human as well, and therefore he had a body. We know that people who are both body and spirit can be born, because human beings are like that. As a result of all this being worked out, the Nestorian heresy was defined, and Mother of God has become a dogma of both the Catholic and Orthodox churches and the title, Theotokos, has been widely used by saints and councils of the church since then. Next time, how is Mary the Queen of Heaven? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.